Well, a recovery community center is opening in Huntsville later this week. It is being ran by the organization ROS, which stands for Recovery Organization of Support Specialists. And joining us in the studio this morning to tell us about the new community center are Aubin Coffin and Mark Litvine with the organization. So first, Mark, could you tell us a little bit about ROS? Yes, so the Recovery Organization of Support Specialists is a free life-saving resource for substance use disorder. We're a 501c3 nonprofit. Uh, Raw started with four of us. I'm actually one of the founding members. And today we have 110 employees across the state of Alabama. And we received an award from President Biden in 2021, the Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award. What sets us apart is we're all in recovery. We've all been through the struggle of a substance use disorder and we do peer support. So the most important thing that we can give someone is hope that because we got through that struggle, they can get through that struggle as well. We just believe in many pathways of recovery, meeting people exactly where they are and loving people to a better life. Yeah, we're here to love people and we're on the front lines of helping people every day. And how will the new center serve people and who can use it? Uh, so the new center is going to be a, a safe and supportive environment for everybody in our recovery. So a lot of our resources do focus on people with substance related difficulties, but it's supposed to be a space for anybody and everybody in the community. And could you explain a little bit more about how the community center might be different than like a rehab or an outpatient facility? Yes, so we're going to be located at 8211 Stephanie Drive, Unit A, Huntsville, Alabama, 35802. We're going to be open seven days a week from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And basically, people can come and go as they like. They can attend a support group, whether it's an LGBTQIA plus group, a women's support group, a 12-step meeting. They can use the computer lab and fill out online job applications, help build the resume. We have a kids room for DHR visits and reconnecting children with their families. And if if someone doesn't have a place to go for the holidays or to watch a game, they can come to Ross and share a meal. The purpose of the Recovery Community Center, and it is the first Recovery Community Center in Huntsville, is a safe haven for the community. When it comes to substance use disorder, people need a safe, supportive space where they can come, where they are supported, and the center is for the entire community. We've got a clothing closet, we're going to have food every day, and we're just here to help serve the community in a safe, supportive, and fun environment so that we can just reach people before they fall through the cracks. And Ross provides treatment assessments for those who would like addiction treatment. Can those individuals be assessed at the new center? Yes. Yes, we'll connect them with a local outreach worker for Madison County um, who can meet them at the center or get in contact with them whenever that's uh, convenient for them. And then they'll continue on with our processes that our outreach workers do, which is to follow them um, from the beginning all the way until they feel stabilized in their own recovery. That's wonderful. Excellent. And um, you kind of already explained it, but I think it's important to reiterate this place is open to the public, uh, you know, to people who are in recovery. Uh, they don't need an appointment to come by. Absolutely they can just not come over anytime and use the services provided. Yes, yeah. and all of Ross's services, whether it be our community center, our outreach, any of our special programs are all completely free to our community. Yeah. And you can call us locally at 256-713-8881 or call our 24-7 helpline at 844-307-1760. You can check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash ROSS, the number four, the letter US dot Madison County for our upcoming hours of operation. And let's talk about the need level here in Huntsville and Madison County. What are you all seeing? So I've uh, lived here most of my life. I'm from uh, Madison County and have worked outreach in Madison County over the last couple of years in our communities and with our partners. And we have a lot of people who want that resource, who want a safe place to hang out and have nowhere to go. We've got a couple of amazing agencies in the community like First Stop, um, a couple of the shelters here in town that give us a safe and supportive environment for some of the community. Uh, but what Ross is providing is an overall safe space for the entire community. Um, so a lot of what we see is people who don't have a safe place to go and just spend the day, who 
who don't have a place to go and get out of the weather, who don't have a place to go and get lunch or dinner. Um, and we wanna just be able to provide them a space where they feel like they have a family and they feel like they're connected to their own community. Mm -hmm. If someone's in recovery, you know, this idea of a safe space, even if they have a place to live that is safe for them, you know, why is it so important to have somewhere they can go where they do feel supported? How does that make a difference in, you know, their, in this big change they're making in their life? One of the biggest reasons that people we see in our communities in recovery that people return to use is forgetting that we can have fun in recovery forgetting that we can build a new life in recovery. And so that's a huge barrier for people to have somewhere to just go have fun, be around other people in recovery. We'll have pool tables, video games, mm -hmm. board games, a, a reading library. So a place where people can come and essentially party with their friends in recovery. Mm -hmm. Great, and the grand opening is this week on Friday. Right? Yes. yes. Okay, good. I just wanted to make sure I didn't say that wrong. <laughs> Excellent. And uh, thank you two so much for joining us. And if you would like to learn more about the Ross Community Recovery Center, you can visit whnt.com.